Welcome to Let's Talk, bud. What? What? Are we doing this again for the intro? What? What are you? What, what? are you talking about? <clears throat> oh, for crying! Out. Is this why the cooler is next to me now? What are you talking about? Oh, jeez. Oh, just my shirt. Just, just drink it. Oh, just, just drink. Thanks, bud. Yeah. You're man. You didn't even open it for me. I want to apologize. The beer store didn't have your uh, Sam Adams. I know, so that's why I didn't open it. For well, you. actually, you know, I was gonna be nice and say it was that beer store that didn't have the Sam Adams, but I just didn't want to get them. No, uh, no, I I can understand that. Yeah, I just I'm trying to work on my anger. I don't want to have anything Boston related on the show. It's just like I'm sorry, bud, but I'm just I'm really trying to be cool. The comments I was getting on the last episode, so I was a little mean. I was a little angry. Yeah, well, I I, I got some comments about uh, instigating, so. You know, oh, fair I, enough. I, I went full full sixty three on that one, yeah. if you know what I mean. And I didn't say his name this time. I know exactly what you mean, and I'm a little upset that you still found a way to bring up Brad Marchand and the Boston Bruins. Well, but you said his name. I'll get past it. Why don't we talk about something that's a little bit more relevant? We should. Yeah. What did you do last weekend? Last weekend, Reed, I was in Chicago, so I did freelance wrestling in Chicago on Friday. I did freelance underground wrestling in Chicago on Saturday, which was at a brewery, which was awesome. That's your favorite place to be. A brewery. Like, I'm in my element. You can wrestle and drink beer all in the same place. Kind of, sort of, in that order. I might drink beer, wrestle, drink beer. But actually, at Freelance Underground, I drank beer during my match. How did you find a way to pull this off? Uh, I just did it. I just did it. I brought a beer to the ring. People tried to hit me. I ducked out of the way. I kept drinking. I managed to not spill a drop. That's impressive. It was impressive. Now, wait a minute. How do we get it to the point where I can drink beer on commentary for Alpha One? No one sees you. You can drink beer anytime you want. Yeah, but I think somebody might notice. Who? Management. Who's the management? I feel like we have like eight stage managers in Alpha One. We There's we like, have a lot of people behind the scenes. We yeah. have a lot of people behind the scenes. So as long as... Well, I mean, I guess if one of them sees you, they're going to rat you out. I don't know. If it's... See, I've been there longer than most of them, but there's one guy that I'm worried about. Who's that? Well, he wears a world tag team title belt. I'd be a little bit worried if, about if him. If he hears me after a couple of beers on commentary, all bets are off. Oh, fair enough. If he's listening after. That's right. True. Especially if I'm in his living room while he's listening. To I tell you what, you know who you don't have to worry about? Charles Blackwolf. Charles Blackwolf is... I think he's the stage manager, but I never see him. No, no, he's not a stage manager. I think he does. he's head of ring crew. He's a very important person. Reese Greenaway is the stage manager. I Reese think. Greenaway is the one. Reese Greenaway is a very important person. And you know what the best part about Reese is? He looks intimidating. So if he's moving somebody out of the way that's in front of me standing, don't stand in my aisle way, please. True. He tells them to move. They move. Well, he should have told Jeff Cobb to move a couple weeks ago. Oh. Uh, not a couple weeks ago. I'm sorry. Maybe a couple months ago. My time's a little off. <laughs> a little, uh, little bit too many wobbly yeah. pops, yeah. you know? And speaking of Alpha One, I know you were there on Sunday because I was there. I saw the match. <laughs> we don't have a green belt on set. We were talking about that last time. And it was close. It was a great match. And if you haven't seen it, <laughs> go to independentwrestling.tv, Alpha One, and look up our last show. Brilliant match, The Purge 4, BMD and Trey Miguel. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, like, it was fun for a bit. Like, I, to be honest, I did something I don't normally do. Um, I brought beers to the ring, which is something I normally do. Had I just stuck to beer, I would have been fine. But Trey decided to bring his party favors, and I'm not one to say no. And I took a couple of, a uh, couple of big, I don't know, totes, as the kids are saying. I don't really know what they are couple of big hits of whatever the pen he you had went backwards and yeah i went down yeah i went down real fast and uh i don't think i ever fully recovered to be honest uh you might not have no might not have. but there was a couple spots in the match where i believe despite what you were saying last episode i was a little faster than him there was and i knew you were gonna get to that yes uh, a little faster than him gave him a nice old canuck kick to the head it didn't put him down but or I put him down. It didn't it turn him, him inside out, out. Is what it did. It did. Yeah, it did. It was... And then I res- re- proceeded to punch his head in. Um, you know, I think due to the the other you know extenuating circumstances, whatever you want to call them, the tokes. I think that's what was my my bitter end. Now the end of the match, I, I thought, and and you can hear it on commentary. I thought you had it. I thought you had him. You're up top. Four fifties coming. He sat up like the Undertaker. It. 
I've never seen. I don't know what happened. Uh, it looked like he had a bolt of lightning hit him, and he just. Set, and then you went through the the door, and yeah, that that was a that was a difficult end to call. Well, see, you know what though, I will credit the cannabis that I had had previously for that fall because I didn't hurt myself as bad as I had thought. I think. <laughs> I think if I was sober, I might have been real bad. And, you know, it kept me down for the count. Um, I was able to walk away barely. Um, but, you know, I want that match back, man. And I want that match back when I'm sober. Or, I mean, these are okay, but when I'm sober. Right, I got you. And then I think it might be a different story, Reed, because I thought I had the strength advantage. I thought I had the power advantage. I had a little bit of an edge in speed. I, I don't care what you're, what's going to come out of your mouth now. You were now. flying around the ring. Flying around the ring. You were flying around. But it is what it is, man, you know. Now I, I gotta ask you this question because we had the purge. Anything goes. There was there was stuff all over the ring. Where do these doors keep coming from? Is somebody on ring crew going to home hardware before the shows? What is going on? Why are there so many doors under the ring? There's you know what, I have a few suspicions. Um, but my main guess is I have a feeling that Hornswoggle, he lives under the ring. Oh, I knew he had something to do with this. Right. So I got my door from under the ring. That's right. I don't know how it got there. My only answer would be Hornswoggle, because I know it wasn't Charles Blackwolf. He was out hacking darts. And and Hornswoggle is friends with Ricky. And Ricky was looking under the ring at each location. He knew something was under there, and he knew where it was supposed to be. Somebody tipped him off. I, I would have to say it's Swoggle. I'd have to say. It's an easy answer. I mean, he's first of all, he's small. He fits under the ring. He does fit under the he ring. He fits under comfortably. He does, yeah. I When I looked under there, I think I saw a light. He might have been reading. I don't know, but somebody was under there and somebody put the door there. Somebody put the chairs there. Somebody put the weapons there. I, I don't know how they got there. I don't ask. I just take it out. Speaking of swoggle, I know he got the win, but how rude was it of Mark Wheeler to super kick him? I don't like that guy at all. How do you super kick horn swoggle? Why does he wear a leather jacket? I feel like everybody wears a leather jacket. The only cool person that ever wore a leather jacket was Bret Hart, in my opinion. Actually, there's probably more, but they're not coming to my head right now. But Kenny Bret Omega? Hart. Kenny Omega? Kenny Omega. Does he wear a leather jacket all the time? Not all the time. He has. Like... Before, yeah, but Prince Prince Devitt, Prince Devitt, who's that? Uh, oh right, he's he he's in he's in the E now. Oh, the Fed. That's right. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's Finn Balor. Yes, that's him. Yeah, Finn Balor. That's right. Yeah. Okay, I thought so. I thought I preferred him the other way. What Prince? Yeah. yeah fair enough. Yeah. Hey, uh, well, before we go rambling on and on, speaking of Alpha One. Hey, yeah, I uh, saw these. We have a giveaway. I think I said, oh, nice of you to join the show. See you later. Well, um, you'll be back. We have a giveaway. Um, so for King of Hearts, which is September 22nd at the Knights of Columbus Alpha One Wrestling, I have two free gold tickets. And all you need to do is, what do we need to do? You know what? I'm going to post about this show. When I post about it, I'm going to let you know which post it is. It's going to be the one. You're going to reshare it. You're going to comment. I want those tickets, bud. And then we're going to do a draw. I don't know when. It'll be before the show sometime. Probably next week. I think next week's think probably next week. good. I'll post a video. We'll do it next week. And whoever reshares my tweet, it could be a... It, it, I'll post it on Facebook. I'll post it on Instagram. I'll post it on Twitter. Reshare it on one of those things or all of those things. You can get triple the chances. And hey, welcome back to the show, Elliot. There he is. Hey, whoa. Reshare right. it. Comment. I want these tickets, bud. I think he wants the tickets. They'll be used. You're not You're not getting them. You're not getting Timbits either. Not getting That's after. But That's yes, after the giveaway. show. Giveaway. Alpha One Wrestling. Two gold tickets. Front row. You can watch me... Work my way back to potentially a zero gravity title shot. I don't know. Maybe me and Ricky can link up again. We'll get the sad buds together. We'll get those tag straps. What I do know has been announced. Trey Miguel and fight or flight in a six man tag against the North and Brian Cage. Got to tell you. The machine is coming. That's awesome. Trey Miguel. I like the guy, but I'm still, this just happened. I'm still a little upset. I got to uh, be honest. If I was Trey Miguel, I, I would be in fear for my life. Well, I mean, it's three really little, really fast dudes against three really big dudes. You look across the ring, Ethan Page is the one who hits the lightest out of those three. It's kind of a scary thought. That is really scary. Kind of a scary thought. Because he chops you and it sounds like a shotgun went off. The match is going to be awesome, though. Yeah. I mean, if they can duck, dip, dive, dodge. Get the reference? Dodgeball. Dodgeball. If they can dodgeball their way out of this, they might have a shot, Fighter Flight and Trey Miguel. Fighter Flight has looked really good since coming to Alpha One. I'm happy they're here. I am too. I'm I, happy I enjoy they're here. the style. Yeah. I enjoy the style a lot. They're high flying. They're all over the place. I like those guys. Well, and you look at our tag division in Alpha <laughs> One to go off on a completely different thought, but 
if the Sad Buds are back together at some point, the North, the Space Pirates, Fight or Flight, the Besties just had the titles. We, we've had all sorts of, and uh, this is where the technical difficulties Sorry. come into play. Dog took my mic off. That was impressive. How did you do that? Anyway, I gotta tell you about it, he's real excited about the tag division. <laughs> Our tag division has never been better, and I've been around for seven years. Seven years? Seven years. Wow. As of King of Hearts. You ever my wanna... life is really understanding. So you've been around seven years, zero titles. I've been um, around a year and a half, <laughs> two titles. I think I've won the best commentator seven years in a row. You know what, Reed? I'm gonna calm down. It kind of helps that I'm the only one. You made your own. You made the joke for me. I didn't even have to do it. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, I think this is a good time. Um, I, as much as I like talking to you, we have a guest. That's what you told me. Episode number two, and we already have a guest. I've had messages left, right, and center read, and we've got someone very special. And I don't think you guys know him. I don't know if too many people know him yet, but you're gonna know him. Is it my dad? If it if it's not your dad, I oh, wish it was. He'd oh. bring more beer because I'm gonna be out soon. Yeah, he would. He will. So here, he will bring beer to the show. Why don't we welcome our next guest? All right, Reed, you ready? I, I'm I'm ready. I think. Please I welcome our guest, Kip Moist. Kip who? Moist. Kip Moist. Ah! Yeah, like ah! hi, like moist. Yeah, uh, no, I, on, I, I get yeah, it. Where are you? Uh, gross. Oh, wait a minute. Should we have? We only have two chairs on the set. Oh, uh, BYOC, bud. Bring your own chair. That's what I kind of thought. Oh, 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 oh okay. Oh, 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 no, dog's gonna okay. get the ten bits. Yep. Right. What? What? Where's he going? He's oh, okay. All right, Kip. And Perfect. that's All the. Right. Did you want something out of there first before you sit down? Do you? There's I a don't drink. I don't drink beer. What? What's the? You don't. Okay. You don't. I don't, drink I don't like the taste. The, the you, taste. What do you? What do you got? The, is that kombucha? Kombucha. 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 Who is this guy? It's Kit Moist. I understand that. You haven't seen him before? No. I've. I've refereed at SW. I've. I've refed a few times at Alpha One once, maybe once. Oh, wait a minute. Look wait a referee. minute. Yeah. Years ago. Yes. If you don't find him in your bushes, you find him in the ring. Wait, what? Ooh. If you We're don't in strike. Oh, don't worry about it. It's okay. What do you got there? What are you oh, trying to do? You sure you... Just trying to get comfortable. Okay, so what is... Kip, to be comfortable here. Kip, what's kombucha? Or sorry, kombucha. What's kombucha? Fermented tea, basically. Let's see. How do you Water, ferment tea? Water, kombucha culture. <laughs> Fermented tea. You got the dog. The dog doesn't want kombucha okay. here. Hey, dog. Yeah, he's used okay. to the Canadians, um, I think. Bacteria cultures. I see. Yeast. Remember, yeast. You've got yeast. my dog worked up, bud, and I, I don't know why. I, he's, he, he must smell something moved the Timbits, and now... Well, no, they're not for you. Kip can have one or two or ten. I don't know. It's just a kombucha bottle. But I reuse the I reuse the glass bottle. I drink a lot of water, so there's just water in there right now. I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it... so this isn't kombucha. It's water. Oh, that's water. We, so why did we just go through? Never mind. You know, you don't have to lean over to use the mic. I, the very kombucha power, bottle. Right. They're very powerful microphones. Um, you can just yep. so, sit back. Okay, I, I don't even know where to start. Um, so you referee. You're a referee. That's how we know each other. Yep. You've probably ref one or two of my matches. Um, yeah, once in uh art gallery. An art gallery? Oh, yeah. I wrestled... Uh, Oh, see, I wasn't there for that. That's why. That's you why I don't wrestle Josh him. Alexander. Well, it's yeah, good. It's I, okay. I got my ass kicked by Josh Alexander. I'm not going to lie. I, I got beat up pretty good. Kip was the referee. And the only um, other person who books me as a ref is uh, Steve Brown versus Ethan Page. <laughs> Steve Brown. Oh, that's oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, the thing with Kip, though, like, <laughs> I got to ask you. Oh, yeah. The dog's barking. I don't know if we can get him. Buddy, why don't you just go over there? Just go over there. Sorry. I, I, I This is an in-depth interview. I was very excited to have Kip Moyes on. <laughs> He's all weird since Kit walked into frame. I don't know why. Um, Wait, have some, did you just pull a granola what do you bar got out of there? your pocket? What do you got there? You want some? No, I'm oh. I'm good. Thank you. A granola bar? Do you have a sleeve of Ritz crackers? What, why do you... Now, I'm interested. Why do you have a sleeve of Ritz crackers in your pocket? Are you hungry? Sorry. He gets hungry. Okay. I want to apologize, first not, of all, for the dog. The dog's being stuff. real loud right now. I'm not it's really not too sure why. The least... Un no, it's not the most unhealthy. It's not the most unhealthy snack. Okay. It's less unhealthy than like chocolate bars or 
anything like that. High sodium content. I sweat a lot. All right. I get voice. Kip, I'm not. <laughs> Kip, I'm not gonna Unexpected. lie. I'm a little uncomfortable right now. I didn't know this is what this was gonna entail. Are you? You sure you don't want something to wash that down other than like kombucha, water, whatever that is? I don't drink beer, but this looks good. You're going right in for the the whiskey. Do you have do you have shop, do you have shop glasses or something? Not do you? I I did not. Uh, I might have somewhere. Uh, I mean, he wants to slurp it out. If of my lovely uh, camera person could just toss it BND. to me. Look at that! Look at in that. from offset, right from production. Look at that! All right, Kip. These are actually still wrapped. So uh, there you go. That's a brand new. Uh, that's a bit bigger than a shot glass. Um, I don't know how much you take, but. You can have that now. Oh, now, Kip. Okay, so I brought. I asked you to come here because I think you're a very interesting guy. Thank you. Um, Me too. There's no doubt about that. Um, maybe you should probably speak into the mic so they can hear you a little bit. I said thank you. They're they're Me, very me powerful too. mics. I don't think we need them to. Just making sure we get the audio. Oh, here. I see. Um, you're so, welcome, Brett. Yeah. Thanks, bud. So, Kip, you referee locally, in Ontario <laughs> mainly. Um, that's it. Just get real close to read. I want you, I want that to, I really want to capture the audio in this, uh, this interview. So Kip, uh, tell me about, it's great. Yeah, no, I, did you finish well. that? Smells good. That's good on you. So tell me about refereeing. How'd you get into that, Kip? Uh, I trained to wrestle some years ago. I was not good enough, but started refing too while I was training and just stuck with doing that. I love wrestling, you know. We watch it all since just a little kids, as long as I can remember. And uh, I just want to be a part of it somehow. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, that's a good answer. Who, who's your favorite wrestler to be in the ring with as a referee? Oh. I just guess. remember what show you're on. Uh, Steve Brown. Is that the right answer? I don't know if that was the right answer. Because... There's another t another chance of him running up the ropes and falling flat on his face again. I want to be right up close to see that. I was in that. I was in a match where he did that. I was in a match where he did I that. I remember. I am not gonna say anything on that because I do not want Steve Brown coming after me. Me neither. But I'm not gonna lie. Like in the ring, it was. I mean, it was funny. What do you? What do you? And here come the crackers. Kip, I brought beer. I brought whiskey. No, I'm good on the crackers. I brought. I'm all right, thanks. Timbits. Man. I'm going to make some sausages after for us. He's got wieners for us. Not not you. Not not you. They're sausages. It's pork. Oh, that's not helping. I don't know where to go here. I don't know where to go here. I, I had questions to ask. This him. was your idea. He okay. came here. He got my dog worked up. Now I'm, I don't know what to do, man. I, I feel really weird right now. I didn't touch your dog. Why would anyone just come out and see? What was that you said about hiding in the bushes? Well, I mean, I've seen him in the bushes once or twice, but I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, oh, it's Kip Moist. Not a big deal. Wow, I am so glad we're not neighbors. Kip, like, you're, I'm drawing a blank here. Like, I, I feel very fucking weird right now, Kip. Like, I don't really know, like, where to go. You can be here. Well, okay. You know what? This I I feel like this. Uh, I feel like maybe we should wrap this up a little bit. Um, I feel like I've entered already? the twilight zone. Well, I mean, uh, like you got anything else to get? Come on, we don't have to go yet. Kip, you okay? So I know you don't drink beer, but we have a segment on here. It's called Chug a Beer. Um, I mean, you could chug your your kombucha, uh, water, whatever. It's water, Brett. What? It's water. It's it's only um if you'd like we can have a beer water. you can have a shot you can have cum bucha water whatever um but we're you want to chug you want to get into the chug a beer thing i i think we should sure. dear god let's do chug a beer chug a beer it's time for chug a beer oh thank god uh we're gonna need Kip to. Yeah, Kip. I mean, those were half full at the end of the last cut. I don't. Oh, he set a Guinness Book of World's Record for 
eating Ritz Kip. crackers. Thank you. I mean, my dog, he was great last episode. You got him all riled up. I don't know what he smells on you, but are you, you didn't get one for yourself? There you go. See, Kip likes that. This is why I brought Kip on. Oh, Friday. this is why you well, brought Well, I knew Kip he'd on. drink. Like, I knew he would. Hey, not I you. I dress code, too. He wore All plaid. Right, I, gotta I mean, yeah. got to give him a few points. Hey, the interview was, like, lackluster at best, but he wore plaid. Fucking hate jeans. Kip. Oh, boy. Never mind. I'm not even going to ask that question. All right, Kip. Nope. We're going to we're gonna chug a beer. There's no such thing as too much, Kip. All right. Ready? Chug a beer. Chug a beer. Take a shot. Right. Chug a beer. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Hey, bud. Hey. Hey, bud. You're fucking good. Hey. hey, how's it going? Hey. Hey, what are you guys doing here? He's, he's Clay. Back. Hey. You got my dog going again, bud. Oh, sorry. Get him. I'm sorry. Get him. He's been so loud. This. Wait a minute. Hey. Wait a minute. I gotta. I got. I gotta know. Have you seen a moose oh my God. running around here somewhere? Something came through our set. Clay, I forgot a about moose. this. I forgot. You, you're you the neighbor. You had to have saw it. Maybe. You saw the moose, didn't you? No. No. Did you, see the, did you see the tracks? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no I didn't see nothing, bud. Are you kidding me? He just he drank all my beer. He smoked all my smokes. He ate the Timbits. Oh, no. Smoked. I'm sorry about that, bud. You, there's no way you didn't see him. No, I didn't see anything, bud. No, I don't believe you, Clay. I don't believe him. How have we still not seen this move? It left a hole in the back fence. I was very upset. And believe it or not, actually, it's like a secret door. It's a, it's actually a gate. So the moose was smart enough. I don't know how he got his hooves in there to open the gate, but he 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 got in here. And I don't know. The tracks were just coming this way. I don't know. It didn't see that he left. So I don't know if he just walked in, destroyed stuff, and hopped over and left. But the tr there was no exit tracks. I don't know where this moose came from or what he did. Kip Moist just won the segment. What did he do? Ah. Oh, no. Fuck's sake. I didn't finish my beer. It was a full right, glass, man. too, yeah. eh? Did he just say A? Eh? Yeah. I like Kip Moist. What? You he just said butt. <laughs> or he just said butt, not butt. Cheers me with that kombucha, bud. It's water! <laughs> I beer? forgot it's water. Yeah. You guys drinking beer? Are you still here? Holy here shit. <laughs> oh my god. He's been here the whole time? Apparently. I forgot he was here. I forgot he was here. How many people have you invited to this thing? I well, didn't I invite I him. I didn't invite him. Did you invite him last time? No, he just showed up. Your neighbor? Hey. Hey, who, is, hey, who are you? What's up, hey, bud? You, what can guys, I... you guys drinking something? You guys drinking beer? Yeah, we're yeah, drinking yeah, beer. Yeah. Uh, all I've got are these twisted teas. And oh, for nothing. crying out loud. What the fuck is a twisted tea? Twisted tea? Uh, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're kind of like, you know, a fruity drink, you know? You know, for uh, for fruity neighbors, kind of like me. But, uh, hey, uh, if you want, but... Uh, oh, cool. I, are I, you I, gay? I, I, I'll, I'll trade you. you. Want twisted tea there, bud? No? Yeah? No? All right. Okay. All right. I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll save this for next time. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey wait a sec. Wait a sec. Ah! You know what? I'll trade you for that. I'll trade you for that yeah. twisted tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, I'll trade it. Kip, I'm gonna have to get you to get up, bud. Just for one sec. Wait, you're 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 going for the twist. You you're doing this. Sometimes, wait. you know what? In between beers, beers get very weedy, and I love beer. Like I'll drink beer. I'll drink whiskey. I love it. You do have a patch that says beer is food. Beer is oh, food like for me. That's right. But I mean. It sounds good. Like, I mean, it sounds good. Okay. All right, bud. Here, I'll give you a beer for that. I'll give you a beer. Hey, cheers, bud. Hey, bud. Yeah, no worries, Paul. Here, Kip, you just mind uh, passing that over oh, to Clay there? God. And then uh, just pass. Oh. Thanks, bud. Oh, look cheers at that. There you go. Yeah, yeah, there. Good luck yeah. Thanks, that bud. Music, eh? I'll drink well, that. You know, it hurts me causing a ruckus for you guys. You know, I really, I really hope that you guys uh, take, take care of this. Just just keep an eye out for him. No, eh? Paul, yeah, if you could just, here. just do me a solid, eh? And, like, next time, I'll, like, I know I say this all the time, but next time I'll have you on the show, just keep an eye on the moose for me, would you? Like, okay, right, it's, well, it was clearly yeah. moose tracks that were here. I, I mean, I, I don't know what else they were. They were big hooves. I don't know if he leaped over the fence. I don't know what he did, but can you just keep an eye? I even Googled it. I made sure that they were moose tracks. They were moose tracks, Google. right? Yeah. I went, I went on Google. I even had the ice cream. You oh. sent me hurt. That's all you. Oh, Kip. great. We're going to have to call an Uber for Kip Moist. Oh, no. No, he ate a whole sleeve of Ritz crackers in, like, four minutes. 
Yeah, that was disturbing. That's almost impossible. And somehow that was still not the most disturbing thing that's happened since Kip Moist arrived on the show. What was? Oh, jeez. You know what? This is... Guys, Reed, I want to say I'm sorry, but after the Boston stuff last week, bud, you deserve every bit of this and then some. Yeah, I know. So, uh, Kip, why don't you just... Kip, can you just do me a favor? Just lean real close into that microphone and tell everyone it's time for the final thought. It's a lot of chewing. It's time for the final thought. It's time for the final thought. It's pretty good. As a wrestler, it's easy to forget that there was a time when you were a fan. Before the hype and Twitter fights, it was simpler times in the stance. But now we're in this bubble where social media is the way. GIFs, GIFs, or those short viral clips is what gets our bookings today. Viral stars square off with no story, just their clips. Wrestlers take to the sky or get glass in their eye. They do it for the holy shits. I like wrestling that's more real where it looks like you're in a fight. It doesn't have to be pretty. Sometimes it's really shitty, but it's exactly what I like. In life, not everything goes to plan. I look at wrestling in the same way. You'll have matches you hate, and some that are great, but most are just... meh. Hey, bud, how's that twisted tea? I signed a multi-episode deal for this. all set up there's this moose around here i'm trying to catch him i, I didn't know you were going to come out here for this a schmick a schmick 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 and i get attacked what's going on oh, i'm so sorry jimmy here i got beer inside you want to well that's good because there's fucking things in oh, I, i'll get you one jim i'm sorry jesus 